Well, I'm going to do a quick update on my papayas. Okay, this is the big tree, which I showed you in the video. I'll put a link down below. This is a trash can cut in half, kind of buried in the ground, and I compost in place there. Look at the size of that trunk there. And all the papayas on this one. Okay. This one is a little further over. This tree actually did come in later. I'll have to double check. I found an old video. These, these trees were planted back in June 2015. So they're only a little over, you know, two years old. This one's further away from the compost bin. See the compost bin there? So that's what made this tree grow so massive. Let me see if I can lift the leaves up and show you. See? It's massive. I don't even want to climb in there right now. Okay. So anyways, this one did grow some papayas in here, which were really nice. This is a younger tree. And let's walk over here. This one was planted at the same time. Let me swing around. That big tree was. That's what it looked like in the old video I did in June 2015. I found some old footage from June 3rd, 2015, so the papaya trees are just a little over two years old. You'll see tree number one, which is the big one. Tree number two is only a few inches tall. And as we move over, you'll see tree number three, which was almost as big, almost, as tree number one. So, time does fly, but they were only two years old right now. Now, see the papayas on it? It's now producing papayas. It was not producing any papayas until I put this here. This black flower pot has no bottom and I started composting in place in this small pot. Let me see if I can get in here. This one. I, start, I cut the bottom out and did my kitchen scraps like I compost in place in there and threw some wood chips on top and dead leaves from the garden. And then this tree started to take off. This was a smaller tree. It would throw a few flowers, but it would not hold any fruit. The flowers would just simply fall off. When I started the compost in place, I noticed it started to flower a little bit better. And yes, I stuck in another papaya in there because it came up in my compost. So now I'm done composting in place with this one. I just found this in, you know, this was in the compost growing because boy, the papaya seeds grow good. I stuck it in there and it's leaning. Trying to get to the sun, but that's okay. I don't care. I have no place else to put it right now. So then I stuck this bin here. And now I'm composting in place here. And it drains out. And this tree, even though this is not a cut bottom on these pots, they have long left. Their roots are out of the bottom because it's got holes. The black pots where the papayas are planted in. And now it's growing into the ground. It's got its roots in the ground. So this tree is now getting compost from this bin. This is another one I'm composting in place. Eh? I just dumped some stuff last night in there. Eggshells, scraps, and a bunch of squash grew. I don't know. It probably won't make it because we're going into, you know, fall now and then in the winter. So if they make it, they make it. And if they don't, they don't. Usually in order to have zucchini or anything grow like that, it's got to be well established. So they'll probably die back. Plus it looks like something's eating it. It could be, we have possums and stuff. They might be eating a little bit of that. So anyways, my thing now is, was composting in place next to a papaya tree successful? Yes, yes because this tree would not produce. It kept, it was a small tree. Let's start back in this. The leaves were really small. It was a smaller tree. It grew flowers and dropped it. The moment within, it was within a week of putting that small pot there and composting in place, it, the tree leaves grew massive. It, they almost doubled in size. They were so big. Now it's producing quite a bit of fruit. This did help bringing this one in. So now it's getting compost from both sides. This one will continue to break down for a while. And I'm not doing anything to that because I now put a tree in there and that will leave that pot because that pot has no bottom. And here I'll, I'll continue to compost in place and throw things until, you know, in there and from the kitchen and from the garden, dead leaves and stuff until it's full to the top. And then I'll figure out, I'll plant something in there. So... 
that is the conclusion. This is going to be my new compost bin. I started throwing some leaves from the garden in there and junk. And I'm going to put it there. I had a tree stump, you know, like I've got these stumps here. They brought in when they brought the wood chips. So I'm going to put this compost bin. That's my new compost bin right there. I will, like that one, compost in place. And hopefully this one will get bigger because this one is quite small. And that one is, not only did it catch up, I think it's bigger than this one now. So that really did help. It started with one and then I put the second compost tub there. Look at that. Whoops, sorry. Move the camera. So now it's feeding off a of two, which is good. And this one will have its own. Now will it be its very own when I move it in there and start throwing things in there? No. Let me see if I can back up a little bit more because the big one's going to take. And that's okay. Because I still use that one. I still throw things in there. I did have some chicken bones and stuff, so I throw the wire on top. Nothing's bo bothered it. And then this one is going to be set right in the middle there. Should start to feed this one. And all should be good. So that's the update on my papayas. Keep in mind, I had no intentions of ever growing papaya. I just wanted to grow greens and different things in my garden, but I couldn't resist them and I sure didn't want to throw them away. This crow. Actually, it's a raven screaming at me. So they have their babies around here. Not now, but in the spring they have babies and they watch me out here. Anyways, that's it. It's the update on the papayas. Was it successful to compost in place? Absolutely, yes. They're heavy feeders. They've got their wood chips all over breaking down and boy are they breaking down great. And that really made a difference on that one. It was a hundred percent difference by starting the compost in place on that. That tree just took off. It was skimpy. It wouldn't throw fruit. It threw some, uh, you know, flowers, but they wouldn't set. Now it's setting. It's full of fruit and everybody's happy. So that's the update. So that's it. Don't forget to eat what you grow. Have a wonderful day.